All right, in this problem, we have two parts. And the first part, part A, Megan writes down a number pattern, or writes a number pattern. The rule is to subtract 3 from a number to get the next number. Complete Megan's pattern below by writing the missing numbers on the lines. So the rule means that if you start with 50, the next number should be 50 minus 3, which is what? Well, we have 47. And then we can see, if you take 3, three away from 47, we get 44. And the next rule is the same, 44 minus 3. That's 41. So here the missing numbers are 47 and 41. In part B, we're told that Joseph writes the number pattern below. And we want to know what is the next number in his pattern. Let's take a look. We start with 100, and then we add 1 to get 101. Right? And then we subtract 5 to get 96. And you can do the math there to check it, right? Add 1, get 101. Take 5 away, get 96. And then what do we do again? Well, then we add 1 to get 97, and then subtract 5 to get 92. And this keeps happening. Add 1, subtract 5. Add 1, and then subtract 5. So now we need to figure that out. 89 minus 5, well, 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 0 is 8, so the answer is 84. Now, on the lines below, explain how you found the next number in, in Joseph's number pattern. Well, you don't need to give them a whole history. You could say something like, I noticed that 100, and be specific, plus 1 is 101, and that 101 minus 96 is, minus 5 is 96. And then you, you could say that you noticed this always happened. Because it always happened each time, add 1, subtract 5, and you're assuming that pattern keeps going, you can then say, okay, well, here I added 1 to 88 to get 89, and then I subtracted 5 to get 84. And you could just say that part as well. Um, now, don't stress out with the pattern here. The reason they give you two parts, and you have to kind of think about the way these tests are created, in the first part, they're showing you a pattern that relies on some type of addition. Right? There are so many different kinds of patterns out there. So it's reasonable to assume, when you first look at this, that they're trying to get you ready for the next part, part B. That's why they're, clo they're putting these two things together. So when I first saw this, right, uh, I mean, if I just saw 100, 100, 196, I'd be a little intimidated, right? Because where's how is that happening? It's going up and down, and what does that mean? But I looked for addition and subtraction, right? Because I know in part A, they showed me a pattern that was based on simple subtraction or addition, right? And in fact, I'm sorry, I wrote addition here. They were subtracting. So here I looked for a combination of addition and subtraction that, that was built off of the idea of subtraction or addition in part A. So usually they'll, they'll prompt you a little bit. They'll give you some kind of pattern with some type of addition or subtraction or multiplication rule. Look for that in the next part for help. That's why they pair these up. All right, thanks.